Yo, yo, yo. Nobody's home? Damn. All right, all right. Damn. Looks like a car now. So I was gone last two weeks because I was in Japan for the uh, Japan judging. So I didn't see the progress. But looks like it's uh, it's almost ready to drive. Like a lot of angles coming up too, hopefully. I don't know, that's what we need to go over right now. <laughs> How much do you want? And don't tell me all of it. All of it, that's always the case, no, man. No. Let's be realistic here. That's already quite a bit. Well, good, because that's all you're gonna get. Oh yeah? No, yeah. that's, uh, that's more than uh, enough, That's what I, think? I can feasibly get within the constraints that we are given. Oh, all right. Got some new parts. What up, what up? Yo, What's up? Yo. This what is you doing? That's all I got. In a cooler. Intake manifold. Got refreshed. And got new hoses. We don't need it. And the drive shaft. New lamp. And I just noticed my logo's in it. It's crazy, man. Parts came from Subaru. The rear bumper. Boot, trunk, tail lights, headlights. Anyways, it's gonna look like a brand new 2022 BRZ. So you're gonna just weld this whole thing, right? Yeah, all this is gonna get welded. This is a the spacer. Mm. And now it's eye to eye. Oh, oh, oh. right? So, seat fitting. It's the same position as previous. Clutch pedal, brake pedal, but obviously the shift lever is a lot more this way because we moved the engine like seven, eight inches towards back. So shift towards something like this before, but now it's here. We're gonna make extension and we're gonna make the whole new e-brake location. It's gonna be something like this. Here we are late night we're working and what i mean by we is me and the radio just got all these tubes right here situated it's gonna look super sick like what you got going on here die i don't know two frame front end no big deal that's cool Fall in. No more spacers. Is she tight? Oh, just the way we like it. She tight. Hello. Where's the motor in there? <clears throat> oh yeah. It's way back there. Damn, looks like a car now. Hello, sir. What's up, guys? What's up? New shop setup. Oh, yeah, she's sitting on the ground somewhat. Turbo. You guys probably recognize. All of this, same as before. Why well, mess with what works, right? You need power? Oh, I got it. I lost my voice, so don't mind me. But we are finally testing. Yay, yay. So today's a shakedown. Obviously no body kit, but completely new front. Why we did this? Well, the, the strength, the openness, and the rebuildability, which um, 
obviously this car has been what eight nine years old eight years it's completing. how many times have we pulled the front end on this thing too many times right and so you know it gets to a point where the material is weak and based on our rules and stuff we're not really able to change a lot of items um, and with the tight uh, constrictions of having races in FD every couple weeks there's not a lot of time to um, do a major adjustment like take a whole front of the car off and put on a brand new one right so now given this ability we're able to modify this and if anything gets wrecked it's much easier to replace a tube than it is a whole front structural men member of the car like uh, like the factory was and it also opens up a lot of possibility to have better suspension design and uh, more adjustment and it's a good learning curve because now we'll know like you know before we were stuck in certain limitations based on the car within the rules now because it's not a competition car anymore there is no rules so now why not go wild and really get a good understanding of what makes a drift car work right so what did you do quickly so you did the double arm okay so strap. it's upper and lower a arm so there's no more strut so the shock is actually a shock not a uh, strut which offers adjustability top and bottom and forward back so we can control all aspects of the suspension geometry now there's uh, additional holes in here to be able to uh, mess with the roll center and and or uh, anti-dive to another uh, thing to be able to play around with to learn more about what makes these cars work. So driving wise, it shouldn't be too different from what was, right? I mean, I'm, no, I'm about to find no. Out. I mean, there's going to be definitely a little bit of a, a learning curve with it because I mean it's different. Right, right. So there's that, but right out of the box, it should be you know a very drivable car. Cool. Let's find out. All right, all right, shake it down. Mm. How was drivability? It felt really, really like natural. Good. Same Good. as before, if not maybe better. We'll have to play around with tire pressure. I put it up a little bit high because I know when we do the road cars, what they run. Yeah. So I kind of went with that. Um, so we can play around with it too. So after self, it's perfect. So uh, yeah, let's uh, make sure engine's fine. <clears throat> then I'm gonna drive a little bit harder with the same setup. Perfect. Then we can adjust from there. Okay, cool. I'll get the data going and get it over to the tuner and have them look it over. All right, I got my fire suit on. Put some more wraps. good everything's working perfectly adding a little bit more angle and now we're adding a little bit less Ackerman it kind of tends to spin out uh, front needs to move a little bit more then I think we are good <laughs> Uh, need little 
knickknacks. Yeah, a little fine tune on the on the steering angle and, and associated situation, but nothing seemed to move or get out of get out of whack or leak or yeah. you know as good as we could expect for the yeah. first time out with a new setup like that. And Literally a whole new front of the car. And you guys knock it out really quickly. So thank you guys. Last yeah. couple weeks or three weeks maybe straight, but three weeks, yeah. That was quick enough. No problem.